Hello, my name is Zoe Abubeidu. Coming up in today's edition of City News Daily, the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly finally elects a presiding member after 10 failed attempts. The details of this and many more stories coming up. Do stay. The Electoral Commission has told City News Daily that it disqualified 24 parliamentary aspirants in the Ashanti region because they failed to pay the 10,000 Ghana cities filing fee. The Commission on Thursday announced that only 216 out of the 240 aspirants had been cleared to contest in the upcoming parliamentary elections. The EC had pegged the nomination forms for the parliamentary aspirants at 10,000 Ghana cities, whilst presidential aspirants paid 50,000 Ghana cities. Now the Ashanti Regional Communications Director of the EC, Sribo Kwaku, in an interview said candidates who filed on the ticket of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, the New Patriotic Party, NPP, the Convention's People's Party, CPP, and the Progressive People's Party, PPP, were not part of those disqualified in the region. 97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. And to our headline story, where the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly has finally elected a presiding member after 10 previous attempts. Now, the Assembly had been without a presiding member for almost a year, and efforts to elect one until now had occasionally been marred by violence. The newly elected presiding member, Nana Edu Mensansari, who is also the Amakom Hene, stood unopposed after the two former aspirants, Wadi Abraham and Michael Edusei Bozu, dropped out of the race. He secured 100 votes in his favor. Now we move to a campaign trail where the president, John Mahama, today launched the constituency campaigns for the Ayawaso Central, North, East and West Wogwan. The event is part of the second phase of the president's tour of the greater Accra region. But before the campaign launch, the president interacted with market women at the Abeka and Malamata market, as well as some students at the University of Ghana, Legon campus. Meanwhile, the NPP flag bearer, Nane Kufado, was at Anyan Sowutum constituency here in the greater Accra region to interact with drivers and traders, and also outline his party's policies to the residents. Now on the camp of the Convention People's Party, CPP, where the flag bearer Ivo Kobina Green Street was at the University of Ghana, Legon, to meet with the tertiary chapter of the party to involve them in the campaign process. Whilst his running mate, Nana Gabi Inketia, is currently in the Volta region on his campaign tour. Meanwhile, independent presidential candidate Jacob Osayibwa has revealed that he would officially launch his manifesto and outdoor his running mate on October 28. But some disqualified parties like the PPP and the APC say they are still on their campaign plans towards the December polls. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1024-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available. And that's how we end today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu. Thanks for watching.